In this video, let us talk about the graph traversal techniques. So what graph traversal means is we want to visit each and every vertex or node in the graph. Once we have completed uh, all, completely visited all the vertices, that is when it is said that we have traversed the complete graph. And there are te different techniques to do so. And how these techniques differ from each other is the order in which they traverse the graph. Uh, the most two common techniques that we use are uh, DFS and BFS. And again, uh, how they differ from each other is the order in which the vertices are visited. Uh, the difference here is that in DFS, which stands for depth first search, we visit we, or we explore the depth before exploring the breadth. And in contrary, in BFS, we explore one complete breadth or one complete level before moving on to the next level. So in DFS, we want to visit all of the children before going to the siblings. Whereas in BFS, we visit the siblings before the children. And from the implementation perspective, uh, DFS can be implemented using stacks and BFS using queues. Um, if this was a little vague to you, uh, this would definitely be clear through this example. So say I have uh, two trees here. This, the, 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 they're exactly the same. And on the first one, let's perform a DFS. So DFS states that we explore the depth before the breadth. That is, the child comes before the sibling. So let's start from the root node, 1. Then we see it's children. It's children are 2 and 3. So let's pick 1, say 2. So 2. Now, after 2, we do not explore 3, because 3 is a sibling, and we want to see the children before the sibling. So we see the, we see the children of 2. We see there are 4 and 5. So we come to 4. And now we see that this whole depth has been explored. So we move on to the next depth. So we come back here, and we see 2 has another child, 5. So we get 5. And now this depth, that is 1, 2, and 5, this depth has been traversed completely. Then we go to the sibling of 2, that is 3. So 3, and then similarly, just like in the previous case, we get 6 and 7. So this is the DFS order. Whereas for BFS, which states that we explore the breadth before the depth, you see there are certain levels in this tree. This is level 0, level 1, level 2. So we want to explore these levels before moving on to the next level. So we started the root node 1. Then we see his children. So we say we come to 2. Now, before going to the children of 2, we see 2 actually has a sibling 3. And we want to explore this whole breadth before moving on. All right? So we take the next child 3. And now we see that this whole breadth has been traversed. Now we move on to the next one. So 2's children are 4, 5. And then, so this is done, this is done. We come to the sibling 3. 3's children are 6 and 7. So this is the BFS order. So as you can see, there were seven vertices in the graph. All seven have been traversed. The difference being that the order in which they were traversed depended on the technique we used. In depth first search, it was, a, it was the depth that we explored first, whereas in the breadth first search, it was the breadth we explored first. All right, so let's just look at this animation just to make sure that the distinction between DFS and BFS is clear. So let's do a DFS first on this tree that you see. So notice very carefully that each depth is being explored before moving on to the next depth, right? That is, the children are being explored before the siblings. And now, let us do a breadth first search. And in the breadth first search, as explained earlier, each breadth is completely explored before moving on to the next breadth. So that is the basic difference between these two. Uh, these are extremely useful. You must be wondering what is the point of traversing them in different ways, and that's because they all have different applications that we shall see earlier, uh, that we shall see later on.